Vaults are a key part of the Fallout universe. Some contain horrific and twisted experiments, while others are actually shelters for their dwellers. Good or bad, nightmare or safe haven, these are all of the vaults in Fallout. Vault Zero is located in the Cheyenne Mountains and can be found in Fallout Tactics. It had no experiment, it just expanded upon the Cheyenne Mountain complex and was sort of a headquarters for all of the vaults. Many pre-war geniuses were cryogenically frozen here. It is eventually taken over by the calculator. Vault 1's experiment was unknown, but it was located somewhere in the Great Midwest Commonwealth, and was the first vault commissioned by Vault Tech following the success of their Los Angeles test vault. It appears in the tech demo for the cancelled Fallout 3 by Black Isle Studios. Vault 3 is located in the South Vegas ruins in the Mojave Wasteland and can be found in Fallout New Vegas. It was a control vault so it had no experiment. Some time after the Great War, a water pipe broke, forcing the door to be opened. Soon after, the Fiends took over the vault and killed the dwellers. Vault 6 is located in the Cheyenne Mountains in Washington. It isn't in any game, but it would have appeared in the cancelled Fallout Extreme. Its experiment involved releasing small amounts of radiation into the vault every day, slowly turning the residents into ghouls. Vault 8 was another control vault located in Nevada and can be found in Fallout 2. It had minimal issues, opened after 10 years, and eventually became known as Vault City, which is a thriving community and one of the most advanced non-isolated communities in the wasteland. Vault 11 is located a bit west of Boulder City, Nevada, and can be found in Fallout New Vegas. The vault's experiment involved dwellers sacrificing themselves every year to avoid an automated solution response, killing all of them, sort of a test to see if someone would sacrifice themselves for the greater good. Vault 12 is located underneath Bakersfield, California, and is found in Fallout. The experiment required that the vault door not completely close, allowing radiation to slowly seep into the vault. It eventually became part of the ghoul town, Necropolis. Vault 13 is located beneath Mount Whitney in California, and is found in Fallout. The vault's experiment was to test prolonged isolation, with the vault being closed until Vault Tech decided that the subjects were needed, which was supposed to be around 200 years later. The water trip failed, forcing the Vault Dweller to venture out into the wasteland to find a new one. Vault 15 is located in what has become New California and can be found in Fallout and Fallout 2. The experiment was that everyone inside had drastically different ideologies, which led to a schism where four groups left the vault and eventually became the Jackals, Vipers, and Khans, with the fourth founding the village of Shady Sands. Vault 17 is located somewhere in New California and is mentioned only in Fallout New Vegas. In 2154, it was raided by the Master's Army. Only Lily Bowen, Becky, and Jimmy survived. When Lily was 75 years old, she was captured and turned into a Nightkin by the Master's Army. Vault 19 is located southwest of the remains of McCarran International Airport in Nevada and can be found in Fallout New Vegas. The vault's experiment had the vault dwellers be separated into two groups with little to no contact between them. After a leak in the ventilation system caused paranoia to grow, the vault became abandoned and is used by the Powder Gangers. Vault 21 is located beneath New Vegas and can be found in Fallout New Vegas. The experiment was that all differences were settled by games of chance, and the dwellers were all compulsive gamblers. Between 2271 and 2281, Mr. House took over the vault after the dwellers let the fortune of the vault ride on a game of blackjack, which they lost. Mr. House then destroyed most of it and turned what remained into a hotel. Vault 22 is located northeast of Jacobstown in Nevada and can be found in Fallout New Vegas. There was no experiment, just scientists studying plants. A fungus from Big Empty was brought in, which quickly infected everyone and turned them into spore carriers. Vault 24's location is unknown and isn't mentioned in any game. Any details about the vault are unknown. A jumpsuit is referenced in Fallout New Vegas' game files. Vault 27's location is unknown, but is mentioned in the Fallout Bible. Its experiment would have been that it was overcrowded, having 2,000 people instead of the standard 1,000. The Fallout Bible will be mentioned quite a bit in this video. It's a group of several documents written by Chris Avalone and contains detailed background information about the first few Fallout games. It was considered canon at the time, but isn't any longer. Despite that, the vaults mentioned are included in this video, as they were once canon. Vault 29's location is unknown, but is mentioned in Fallout and indirectly referenced in Fallout New Vegas. 
the experiment would have been that every vault dweller that initially entered the vault would be less than 16 years old. Vault 34 is located outside of New Vegas in Nevada and can be found in Fallout New Vegas. The vault's experiment was that it had a ridiculous amount of weapons, armor, and recreational facilities at the cost of living space. The vault became overpopulated, the overseer locked the weapons away, the vault dwellers rioted, then left, with most of the remnants turning into ghouls. According to the boomers, they came from this vault. Vault 36's location is unknown and is mentioned only in the Fallout Bible. Its experiment would have been that the only food available was a thin, watery soup-like mixture. Vault 39 would have been located in what used to be Abilene, Texas, and would have been found in Fallout Brotherhood of Steel 2. Its experiment is unknown, but it would have been overcome with plant life, similar to Vault 22. Vault 42's location is unknown and is mentioned only in the Fallout Bible. Its experiment would have been that all light bulbs in the vault were 40 watts or less. Vault 43's location is unknown, but is found within one man and a crate of puppets, an official Fallout webcomic by Penny Arcade. The experiment was that the only dwellers were 20 men, 10 women, and one panther. Vault 53's location is unknown and is mentioned only in the Fallout Bible. Its experiment would have been that most of the equipment inside the vault would regularly break down, causing unending stress among the dwellers. Vault 55's location is unknown and is mentioned only in the Fallout Bible. Its experiment would have been that there was no entertainment tapes within the vault. Vault 55's location is unknown and is mentioned only in the Fallout Bible. Its experiment would have been that there were no entertainment tapes within the vault, except for those done by an exceptionally bad comedic actor. Vault 68's location is unknown and is mentioned only in the Fallout Bible. Its experiment would have been that there were 99 men and only one woman inside the vault. Vault 69's location is unknown and is mentioned only in the Fallout Bible. Its experiment would have been that there were 99 women and only one man inside the vault. Vault 70 is located in Salt Lake City, Utah and would have been found within Van Buren. The vault's experiment was that all mechanical parts of the vault jumpsuits would fail six months after the vault door closed. Vault 74's location would have been somewhere in the Nevada area, as it appears in the game files for Fallout New Vegas. The only information about the vault is a log from the Overseer which reads, Data log number 10.14.78. The vault has been breached. There was not enough power to level 5. God have mercy on our souls. Vault 75 is located beneath Malden Middle School in the Boston area and can be found in Fallout 4. The vault's experiment was that the parents were executed when the vault door closed and the children underwent grueling mental and physical testing to create superior humans. If they weren't up to the standards when they turned 18, they were executed, with the rest joining the vault's science team to continue the study. Vault 77's location is unknown and is mentioned in the Penny Arcade web comic One Man and a Crate of Puppets, though a jumpsuit can be found in Fallout 3. The vault's experiment was that there was only one dweller who had a crate of puppets as its only company. Within three years, he had given roles to the puppets and acted like they were real people. Just after three years in the vault, he managed to escape. Vault 81 is located in the Boston area and can be found in Fallout 4. The vault's experiment was to use half of the dwellers as guinea pigs for medical experimentation. Shortly before the first test was scheduled to take place, the overseer shut it down. Over the next 200 years, the vault prospered and opens without issue to trade with nearby settlers. Vault 87 is located due west of Arafu and can be found in Fallout 3. This vault could be a video of its own, but the experiment involved the use of FEV on various test subjects within the vault. Most of them died after exposure to the virus, but the rest were turned into super mutants, which became the source of the super mutants in the capital wasteland. Vault 88 is located beneath Quincy Quarries in the Commonwealth and can be found in Fallout 4. There was no experiment, as the vault was intended to be used as a place to test various devices that would be implemented into other vaults, but it was never finished. The sole survivor can find it and turn it into a settlement in Fallout 4. Vault 92 is located east of Oasis in Washington, D.C. and can be found in Fallout 3. The vault experiment involved creating a series of super soldiers via subliminal messaging. The inhabitants were all musical prodigies from across the globe. The dwellers became monstrous with rage and began to slaughter the rest of the vault inhabitants. Vault 95 is located at the northeastern edge of the Glowing Sea in the Commonwealth and can be found in Fallout 4. The experiment surrounded chem addiction, as the initial dwellers would suffer from chem addiction and would be rehabilitated for five years, after which 
a Vault Tech employee would find a hidden cache of chems. The dwellers immediately ruined the families they had created with each other, and most of them likely overdosed and died. Vault 100's location is unknown, and is referenced in the game files for both Fallout 3 and New Vegas. As such, what the Vault's experiment would be is unknown. Vault 101 is located in Springvale, Washington, D.C., in the Capital Wasteland, and can be found in Fallout 3. The Vault's experiment was to test the role of an omnipotent overseer in a community remaining in indefinite isolation from the outside world, and study the reactions of the dwellers, should the isolation be broken. Several dwellers left the Vault in secret over the 200-year history of it, but it was mostly kept a secret from the rest of the Vault. In 2277, a scientist escaped from the Vault and left chaos in his wake. Vault 106 is located southeast of Arafu in the Capital Wasteland and can be found in Fallout 3. The Vault's experiment was that psychoactive drugs would be pumped into the Vault's air filtration system 10 days after the Vault door closed. What happened after is unknown, as everyone found inside the Vault is insane, as the drugs are still being pumped throughout the airways 200 years after the Great War. Vault 108 is located south of Canterbury Commons in the Commonwealth and can be found in Fallout 3. The Vault's experiment was to study how people battle for leadership and power. The first dweller died within 40 months, as he had a rare form of cancer, and the power supply was scheduled to malfunction after 20 years, despite the Vault being closed for 38 years. The Vault also contained a cloning lab. A man, Gary, was cloned one day. The new Garys were immediately hostile to non-Garys, with each becoming more and more aggressive. By the time the scientists had a plan for how to deal with the clones, the Garys revolted and took over the Vault. Vault 111 is located in Sanctuary Hills, Massachusetts in the Commonwealth and can be found in Fallout 4. The Vault's experiment was to test the long-term effects of cryopreservation on a select group of Vault Dwellers. An all clear was supposed to come after 180 days, but it never did. Facing dwindling supplies, the Overseer didn't open the door, despite everyone demanding it. They staged a mutiny, and the Overseer places the Vault in lockdown in response. What happens next is unknown, though Kellogg makes his way inside, murders the sole survivor's spouse, and steals their child sometime after. Vault 112 is located below Smith Casey's garage in the Capital Wasteland and can be found in Fallout 3. The vault would be home to only 85 dwellers and would all be suspended in virtual reality indefinitely or until the experiment was deemed finished by Vault Tech. The Overseer, Dr. Stanislaus Braun, had complete control over the inhabitants, and by 2277, only a few remained, as Braun had gone mad with power since he was essentially a god inside the virtual reality. Vault 114 is located near the Park Street Station in the Commonwealth and can be found in Fallout 4. The Vault's experiment was that all the Vault Dwellers were upper class as well as local members of government. They were told that the Vault would have exceptional luxury when it actually did not. The Overseer was also selected because he was anti-authority. The Trigger Men now control the Vault. Vault 118 is located on an island along the coast of Maine and can be found in Fallout 4's Far Harbor DLC. The experiment was supposed to study the interaction between two groups of dwellers, one being high class with the others being low class. The second wing to house the lower class was never finished, so the experiment never came to be. The few scientists inside put their brains into robo-brains, which drove the Overseer to the point of suicide. Vaults 177, 199, 314, 333, 525, 730, 813, 899, and 909 can all be explored in Fallout Shelter throughout various quests found in the game. If there were any experiments conducted inside the vaults, what they were remains a mystery. Before I end the video, there are a few vaults that didn't have numbers. The Burkittsville Vault would have been located in Burkittsville, Maryland, in the Capital Wasteland and would be found in Fallout 3. What experiment, if any, went on inside is unknown, but a group of cannibals did set up camp near the vault entrance soon after the door closed and ate anyone who came near it. It was supposed to be in Fallout 3, but was cut. The Secret Vault is located beneath Los Ibanez, Texas, and is found in Fallout Brotherhood of Steel. There was no experiment, instead, it served as a research facility for the high-ranking government officials and scientists who wouldn't be subject to the same regulations as the other vaults, meaning it was kept a secret from the US government, who had a hand in creating the other vaults. Of the many things researched inside the vault, FEV was one of the most heavily studied. The Prototype Vault is located within the Brotherhood of Steel's base in Texas and can be found in Fallout Brotherhood of Steel. 
It was a testing ground for technologies that would be used in the secret vault, and is now used as a training center for the Brotherhood of Steel. The unfinished vault is located on the west coast of the United States, and can be found in Fallout 2. As the name suggests, the vault was not finished, so it's basically just a cave. The Los Angeles Vault is located, surprise surprise, in Los Angeles, California, and can be found in Fallout. It was a demonstration vault constructed by vault Tech, which ended up being extremely popular. The vault was a fully functioning vault, so people took shelter inside during the Great War. Some years later, the residents left the vault and created some of the various factions that can be encountered in Fallout. Alright, that's gonna do it for this video about every vault in Fallout. If you want more information about any of these vaults, I would recommend checking out Oxhorn, The Nth Apple, and Shoddycast. They all have videos about the many vaults found in Fallout and go much more in depth than I did here. If you enjoyed the video or learned anything, leave a like. If you didn't enjoy the video or didn't learn anything, leave a dislike. Follow me on Twitter, at MittenSquad. My name is Paul of Mitten Squad. Have a wonderful day.